I believe that you should use the talents that God has given you to provide for the needs that you have. Vision is terrible, to say at least. Um, I have a nearsightedness, and I also can't see up close. Basically, the reason. I can't see very far, and I also it doesn't, and I also can't see up close. Those are the two reasons why. Okay. Your parents were explaining to me earlier that one other eye um, is worse than the other one. How worse is it? I mean, I give the first this one around a six, this one around a ten. How oh, tall? Ten. Ten out of ten means really bad. Okay. Six out of ten. If your sight is as bad as you said it is, how did you manage to draw this portrait? It requires a lot of um, light. I can't see. You know, you need to see light, and you also, I also have to go up closer a couple of times to see if the image that I'm drawing is accurate. Why tell me about the challenges in your daily, in your day-to-day -day life. Um, so with the, with the glasses, everything is basically okay. I don't have much problem. It's only when, if anything happens, I'll take it off. That's when the real issue will come in. Um, although, I like looking. I would love if I could get my original back. Original building without the glasses. Colors, to me, seem a lot more real without the glass in front of the eyes. Um, I'm working towards that. Do you at any point fear that you may lose your sight entirely? Um, the thought is there. A couple of the times. I am told at times that you might lose your vision because the glasses doesn't improve your vision. It just adds on it. And as the vision gets worse, it just keeps adding on it. What were some of the challenges for you, especially being in the classroom? Oh, classroom. So probably, I like the said classroom. You have to come up to the board and sit in front and on the ground because no one wants to sit in their seat and have to look at what the teacher's right now because it's very far away. And um, it can be very irritating at times crossing the street, you might not sit a car. Well, it's best to walk in a group at times like that. The vanishing point of this drawing would be uh, B, would be A and B. These two points are found where the lines pass through the glass where they are extended from his eye, parallel to the two sides of the table. The vanishing point of this drawing would be A and B. These two points are found where the line passed through the glass, when they are extended from his eye, parallel. And then it's not about the exercises that you've been doing to kind of um, refocus the eye or retrain the eye. To well, one, one is where you move your eyes up, down, side and across. Basically, um, getting the muscle fit, strengthening the muscle. And then there's one where you hold an object far out like this, with like glasses and you bring it in closer, bring it back. You try to get the eyes to adjust. And some, someone out there is going to say that I'm seeing what I'm seeing wrong. But, um, and also there's one where you, you pick up a book or so, or you look at a sign, and you're trying to focus. It might hurt your eyes a bit, but you're trying to focus where the words become clear. When that happens, you bring closer, bring it farther back again, where I'm trying to make those clear. You're constantly getting the vision better. Do you find that that has been helping you? Um, well, honest with you, I've recently started, but I have seen a bit of improvement. A bit. That's a small bit. 